Um, now let me get some really great news here. This this is some really awesome stuff. Now I had an episode a few episodes ago. I hope you caught it about how President Trump's uh, recent moves with uh, putting uh, Chris Miller as acting Secretary of Defense and getting rid of Esper. Uh, there was more to it than meets the eye. That there is uh, there is a a move there perhaps to have support for having to institute the Insurrection Act if, when, President Trump wins in the courts and the uh, President-elect Joe Biden is no longer President-elect and President Trump is re-elected. There will be chaos, unfortunately, there will be mayhem, there will be social and civil unrest, which of course will be brought about by the brown shirts and the paid provocateurs of Georgie Porgy and the Zorro money uh, funded uh, vile uh, lens that we see uh, in the streets anytime uh, the, the light switch is flicked and the powers that be asked for mayhem in the streets. Well, let me give you some, uh, some background on, on Secretary of Defense Chris Miller. I told you that uh, this is a person that would be able to, uh, if the Insurrection Act were uh, instituted and, and uh, put into action by President Trump, this would be the good man for the job. Uh, this is how people feel about Chris Miller. They say, quote, dude's legit. Uh, even though he's not known uh, by the industrial military complex, even though he is not a favorite of the leftists and the Marxists, uh, he, is known to the, he is known to the elite ranks of Army Special Forces. Um, when Christopher Miller on Monday took his post as acting defense secretary to replace the newly fired Mark Esper, many throughout the United States and abroad knew nothing about the new Pentagon chief. Uh, like I said, the dude's legit one longtime member of the special operations community told uh, Just the News. This is uh, an article from Just the News, uh, the great outlet put out by the great uh, reporter and investigative journalist John Solomon. Everyone loves him. Miller, 55, is known among his special forces peers for his part in a secret mission uh, in Afghanistan immediately following the attacks. Now, uh, if you haven't seen the movie 12 Strong, this is what he is known for. Uh, it's immortalized in that form, uh, that movie from 2018. I saw the movie. I would, if you like war films, if you like movies about the military, uh, definitely want to watch that. But here is the thing: Miller was in the field. He was, and this is what he said. He goes, "I was in the field and I was in the street. The man knows how to navigate actual street level guerrilla tactics." Uh, on the streets, on the ground. I mean, the guy was on a horseback uh, going to his troops and supporting them. Um, You've got a really distinguished career, including on the ground, said moderator Seth Jones in, in October when introducing Miller uh, and at an event. At the time, Miller was director of the National Counter T Center, which falls within the Office of Director of National Intelligence. Once again, this is awesome. He is connected uh, to uh, the DNI. Uh, and this is what Miller said. He said, look, we're still in a conflict. The conflict is not in the news as, oft, as often as it was in 2001, 2002. Um, we wanted to be in a place where we could, where we could think logically and strategically about this. And he's talking about the ground game in, uh, in conflict zones. So this is a guy that knows the guerrilla tactics uh, of those that would uh, wreak horror and terror on our streets. And if that happens, uh, because the paid provocateurs and, of course, the gaslighting by the mainstream media will have people foaming at the mouth. And when the uh, the call, the election call by the mainstream media, including Fox, is, turn, uh, show, is shown to be incorrect and President uh, Trump is declared the winner, of course, people will take to the streets. And this is a man that has on-the-ground experience on how to deal with uh, the ground game, if you will. So... The dude's legit, and I'm glad he's in there. Once again, he's just acting. Uh, but once again, President Trump has taken advantage of these acting positions uh, to get things done. Look at what acting uh, DNI did, uh, Rick Grinnell, the time that he was in there declassifying all that information. Um, also, I, one of the greatest acting that I liked, would like to have seen more of, was Matt Whitaker when he was acting uh, Attorney General. Uh, he said he would do things that... A.G. Bill Barr still hasn't done. By the way, where is A.G. Bill Barr?